Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here. We are back for our NHL 15 Be a Pro Series following Rick DiPietro and the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, last game. That was fun, wasn't it? It's always fun to see me get pissed off in those games, but other than that, that game was absolutely horrible. There's the phone going off. Alright, sorry about that guys. So we are back. Stupid phone coming in, but yeah. Uh, the past two games that we've had our starts in, we've played Edmonton that one game, the first game of our two-game losing streak right now, and uh, they did not take that many games in there. I am definitely default for that game against Edmonton, but last game, I stood on my head that entire game versus the Buffalo Sabres. Kind of broke down the third period, but it shouldn't have never come to that. We should have won that game. Toronto was absolutely pathetic on the shots. I think they only took six or eight shots that entire game. Buffalo took near 30, and I managed to, like, only give up three goals that entire game which was honestly kind of pathetic but our record is still decent 27 14 and 4 but we want to see if we can get out of this two game rut that we're in right now either Bernier or Reimer who's ever going into the games after us is definitely still winning some games but I want to see if I can dig myself out of this rut here get some revenge against the Edmonton Oilers and see if we can get back on the right track here not had a very not have we have not had two very good games in a row so if we want to see if we can turn this around all right so here's dippy stats five three and one 2 .39, 0.881 save percentage no shutouts still decent record for a backup i would say but uh 11 points in uh nine games which is okay scrivens back in toronto gets to the start here the professor 12 13 and 1 2.92 save percentage of 0 0.904 and two shutouts for scrivy as we are getting ready to get started here in Edmonton, in Toronto, sorry. Last game was in Edmonton that we played the Oilers, but we're in Toronto now. Let's see if the Maple Leafs can, you know, put up double-digit shots in this game. That would be really appreciative. Oh, Phil Kessel in all right away and just lifts a backhander on that save by Scrivens. JVR tries to make a deke to the middle, but taken off by Schultz. Hall up to Eberle. And here comes Jordan Eberle. All right, Jordan Eberle trying to skate in. Back passes at the Hall. There's a big shot wide than that. Pretty good screen up there as well. JVR dishes it back over to Fanuf. Dion, and he'll get it back up to Kessel. Run into, though, but the puck will exit the zone, and he stick lifts uh, Taylor Hall, and he gets it back. Phil Kessel skating with it, takes it to the corner, has it, turns back. Uh, he skates out in front. They're just going to let him walk right in. Up bouncing puck. Donovan Kadri takes the shot, gets blocked off, though, by number by Taylor Hall. Shot by Fanuf. Tip! Oh, my God, what a tip! What a tip there from Phil Kessel. Oh my goodness, that was a tip. That thing was going wide and he just tips it right over the head of Ben Scrivens. And the first line yet again comes in clutch. Slap shot from the point by Dion Phaneuf. It was tipped in front by Phil Kessel over Ben Scrivens' head. And the Maple Leafs will go out to a one to nothing lead here. Look at that tip. Oh my god, the change of direction on that shot. What a shot there from Dion Puts it right on Phil's stick, and he deflects it into the net. Kessel with the goal. Dion Phaneuf and Nazem Kadri get the assists as we go up 1-0 in this game. So that's good. Hopefully the Leafs take some more shots here. That's all I care about. If they take some shots, I'll be happy with it. I just don't want another game where they take like six shots in game and they get like six goals. All right, Petrie is going to dump that around the back. Oh, I did not get it. And apparently Yakupov didn't want to go chase after it. Thought the goaltender was going to get it, but unfortunately I did not. Joffrey Lupel back from injury. He's going to dump that one off the boards as David Booth does get there. And back to Bozak. Bozak uh, skating around the point. Back to Phaneuf. Over to Riley. Off the skate, but Booth is right there to pick it up. David Booth uh, around the back. Lupel grabs that in midair. Lupel going around the back again. Over to Riley. Back to Bozak. Nice puck moving here. Back to Lupel. Nice puck moving here. Uh, Lupel tried to make a pass, but it goes off right off Horak. And David Perron now. David Perron back to the point. The cleft bomb. Glove save from DiPietro. Snags that out of the air as he'll pass it over to Riley and right over to David Booth. Booth up to Lupul. Lupul cuts back in. Back over to Kadri. Bouncing helmet. Lifts it back into on Scrivens and he'll cover. All right, so we make our first big save there on Oscar cleft bomb. As a... Uh, Keep that one nothing lead intact. Yeah, Toronto was 4-5-1 in their last 10, so I thought they weren't doing so well. I think, uh, like, three or four of them, uh, three or four of their wins have been in a row, but still. Up, oh, pass out in front. JVR with a rebound. Ooh, just trickles wide. Kessel with a back shot. Up, oh, JVR again. Oh, my God, lots of shots being taken on Scrivens right now. 
from every angle the Leafs are shooting at this game. That's good. I like to see that. All right, here's Benoit Pouliot. Pouliot up in front. Di Pietro grabs it. Did grab it. Got pushed around a little bit. No call. Referees are not appreciating Di Pietro. I mean, Di Pietro is not being appreciated. Knocked around like that so much, but whatever. All right, here is Jared Lievo. Lievo is going to get knocked off by Nikitin. And back to Larson. Over to Eberle. Here's Jordan Eberle. Takes a shot on that. Blocked off by Di Pietro. Enough. Drives him hard to the boards and takes him off of it. Nice pass up to Fratton, and he'll dump it off to the corner. Lievo with that speed. Nice job to get that puck back. Santorelli back over to Riley. Back over to Fanoff. Back to Santorelli out in front to Fratton. And a big blocker save there from Ben Scrivens. Larson gives it up to the Nuge. Back over to Eberle. Eberle cuts in. Taylor Hall tried to cut in, but Leo Komarov was right there on the back check to get it back. Uh, and there was a pass, and there was a delayed penalty, I guess, played in that big scrum up there. There's going to be a high-sticking call on Taylor Hall. In the back, as the Leafs will go to a power play. Let's see what Taylor Hall caused a high-sticking call. And Opie, oh, high-stick Fanuff in the face. That's all right. That's all right. Fanuff is not the greatest-looking guy out there, so it's all right if you want to rearrange his face. I have no problem with that. But still, penalty. So we'll have a two-minute power play for the rest of this period. And, uh-oh, bouncing puck here. Eberle is going to take a shot on that, and uh, DPH will just dish that right to the corner off of an easy glove save. Franzen gets nailed into the boards. Kadri will give it back up to Kessel. There's plenty of room here to work with. All right, Kessel going to wait for some support. Cuts back into the middle, runs into JVR, but he still has control of it. Kessel, saucer pass. Uh, couldn't be handled, though, by Kadri. And I think that was Franzen couldn't grab it out of the air. No, that was Gardner. All right, Jake Gardner will pass it up to JVR. Over to Kadri, and he cuts into the middle, takes a hit to make a play. Kessel tries to get around them. He does, around the back of the net. Kessel takes a shot up blocked in front by Petrie, and he will dump it out. As Gardner will grab it out of midair. Oh, Jesus. Bad pass, Jake. Don't be doing that. Oh, big save there from DiPietro and Jordan Everly. And once again, the Leafs turning pucks over on an odd man advantage. On a power play up, JVR tries to get around one. Back passes it to Franz out in front. The Gardner out in front. The Lupul. Nice little play there. Shot by Lupul on the short side. Glove by uh, Scrivens. And that one's going to go all the way around the boards. Power play's over. That's actually going to be an icing call. With six seconds left here in the first. All right, and Bozak does win the faceoff. Riley back to Fanuff takes a shot right off the shin of Taylor of Jordan Eberle. I think he's the captain. Yes, he is. He is the captain. And that goes out of play. Point one second still left on the clock. Here we can just let the faceoff roll, and that'll be it for the first period. Here in, in Toronto, the Leafs get an early goal from a tip by Phil Kessel, as the Leafs will take a one to nothing lead after the first period. All right, so the shot total is 9-4. to four. Okay, so I have no problem with the Leafs in shots after that first period. They've already taken more shots than they have in the last game. So uh, I'm actually going to take a very quick bathroom break, so I'll be back in a minute, guys. Hold on for a minute. All right, guys, we are back. I'm getting ready to start period number two here. So I have no problem with the Maple Leafs. They've already taken nine shots this period. That's more than they took that last game against Buffalo. We still have the lead. And uh, all you need to do here is just still play pretty solid. All right, here's Everly. Tries to make a deke into the middle there. Nice hit by Riley to knock him off the puck. And Kadri will take it up. All right, Kadri gets a round one. Uh, getting some messages here. Uh, I gotta remember to turn my notifications off. All right, JVR back to Riley. Over to JVR. Sends one on net. Blocked off, though. Marinson. Over to Everly. Everly tries to lead out of the zone. Kadri back and forth. Oh, nice passing there. They do get a shot on that. Kadri back to the point again. Riley takes a shot. And Kadri gets it back again. Back over to Fanoff. He takes a shot. That gets hit, hits for King Phil Kessel right in the right in the chest there. JVR gets it back again. Kadri. Kadri up. Trying to center. Gets it back. Kadri. Oh, takes a shot. Oh, rebound there. No deal in there. Marinson. He gets bied off the puck. JVR takes it back. Fanoff. Kessel. He takes a shot. Gets blocked off. Bouncing puck. Schultz will try to dish it out. And they... Edmonton Oilers will finally get control of the puck here. Jordan Eberle goes back to the point. He sends it around the back for Taylor Hall. There's that pass in front looking for the Nuge, but he missed the shot there. Clef bomb around the back for Hall. Over to Clef bomb again. Clef bomb. There's that pass in front. Eberle 
Back to the point again, and a block shot there from the defense. Riley will wrap it around and easily handled by Booth. Bozak gets it out to Lupul, Riley, and the Maple Leafs will finally get out of the zone here. As Bozak comes up, deeks to the middle, shot by Booth, blocked off by Scrivens. Booth shielding it. Uh, the Bozak tried to get it back, tried to take a quick shot on that, but Edmonton takes control. Here's Clef Bomb. Clef Bomb. I'm looking for that pass. Oscar Clefbaum taking off, and Jared Lievo gets control of it. Gardner, nice long pass up to Santarelli, right in the middle of David Booth, one on one. David Booth takes it to the corner, shields it, a pass in front for Lievo, and Scrivens fights that one off. Santarelli back control again. Lievo back to him, back to Lievo, back to Santarelli again, out in front. Oh, shot by David Booth, but Scrivens glove saves there. Nice puck movement by the Leafs in this game. I'm liking it. And here's Yakupov over to Petrie. Oh, shit. I don't know if I got a blocker save on that or if that hit the post. There's Gardner, and uh, that was a shot by Horak, but that got blocked off. Fratton now takes it up. Fratton makes a pass into the middle to Santarelli. Santarelli back to Lievo. Back to Franzen. He skates in. Up. Oh, loose puck. Fontaine and a loose shot there. Lievo gets it back again. Lievo back to Gardner. Lots of room there. Winds up for a shot. Rebound by Santarelli. It was a broken stick there. And that will play for a while. My goodness, Leafs full in control of this period here. Great puck movement. Ben Scriven's making some very big saves in that period, in this period so far. Still one nothing game though. Alright, uh, face off win there for the Oilers. Larson will take it off the face off. He will dump it into the corner. As Riley will take it, he's held there. And JVR will take control of it. Sends it right in the middle to Kadri. Dangerous pass, but still complete it nonetheless. Yeah, nice deke by Kadri. Back to Riley, who's into the zone. Morgan Riley, uh, he's got to get knocked off by Nikitin. And he gives it over to Darnell Nurse. Up to Keith Alley, as he's going to dump it in. Edmonton Oilers might be dealing with an injury here if Keith Alley's playing. All right, uh, Fanuf up to Kessel. Got a lot of room there, Phil. Making it up, fakes the deke. Pass in front to JVR. Nice blocker save there from Scrivens. I don't know if they hit the post or not. Uh, Marinson, he's trying to... Deke it out of the zone. JVR did not want to go four check after that, but still. All right, Teddy Purcell now with the puck. Coming up the wing, three seconds. Look for a shot here. Oh, Jesus, man. There was a shot there late. I did not know that was going to come in from that angle. DiPietro does come in clutch, make the save there on uh, whoever that was, number 15, at the end of that period. As a very quick second period, not many stoppages in that period. Leafs were in full control of that period, taking a ton of shots on Ben Scrivens. But this game still does remain one to nothing. After two. So 16 shots for the Leafs, only six for the Oilers. Seven minutes of time and attack, so the Leafs are definitely in full control of this game. 16 shots for them, which is good. Edmonton has only taken six shots on DiPietro. He has fought them off so far, but it's a one to nothing game. Dangerous lead, most dangerous lead to have in hockey. As we're coming into the third period here. I think we were, like I said, we were beat. I don't know if we were beating them in face-offs, but we were beating them on time and attack. All right, here's Everly. Oh, nice deke in front by Everly. Scramble in front. With almost all the players on the ice there in the middle of that slot area, but Leafs do get, grab it. Kadri gets around one. Kadri around the back of the net, looking for a pass. Feeds Kessel and Kessel. <laughs> Phil Kessel just sends a fluky backhand low shot on net and it goes through the five hole of Ben Scrivens as Phil Kessel gets his second goal of the game as the Leafs will take a 2 to nothing lead here early in the period. Kadri gets his second assist of the game. Riley gets the other one. Look at this. Kadri just feeds Phil Kessel right out in front and just a fluky backhand by Phil Kessel on net and that one's going to go in. Uh, slowly get out of the way. Yep, he just flings it low on net. I guess Scrivens expected it to maybe go a pass because JVR was wide open on the back door, but I guess he expected it to have a little bit more air under that. Not like that. That one just traveled all along the ice, and Scrivens could not handle that. And uh, the Leafs take a 2 to nothing lead here into the third period. All right, so got a 2 nothing lead here, which is good. Horak is going to get completely knocked off the puck. Nice hit there from Morgan Riley, and he'll feed JVR. Sends Kadri off to the left wing. Kadri toe drags into the center. Phil Kessel picks it up, <laughs> looking for number three. Slap shot, but that one's blocked off by Scrivens. Petrie over to Yakupov, up to Horak. And he's stick lifted by Kadri, who takes control of it. Back into the zone. Kadri up, sends one off of the defenseman, but Clefbaum will take it. Over to Perron. Perron into the middle, over, all the way over to Yakupov, actually. Yakupov, there's a shot on that glove saved by DiPietro, and that was a dangerous pass by me. 
Back to Clef Bomb. Easily handled by Di Pietro, and we'll hold on to that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Both, player, both players there, their knees buckled. Yakupov with a very good shot on that. I didn't know if he was going to go across my body like a lot of players do, but he just went short side, and I managed to get my glove on that. Up, oh, Marinson takes control of it. Back to Everly. Ooh, there might have been a tip there almost by Taylor Hall, but Leafs do clear it out. Here's Jared Lievo, who's had a pretty good game. I'm not going to lie. Lievo's had a lot of time out there today. Uh, Lievo back in front of Frat, and oh, that hits off the post. Hits off the far side post and luckily trickles right back out over to Scrivens, who covers it. Santorelli was not quite there for the rebound. Scrivens got lucky on that play. Matt Fratton with another backhand are on that, and Santorelli was just a bit out too far behind the net. Could not get the rebound right there, as uh, that one stays out. Almost a three to nothing lead for the Leafs, but still, they got that two goal lead. All right, nice win there. Jared Lievo sends a low shot, easily blocked up by Scrivens. Santorelli with a stick lift. Uh, out in front to Jared Lievo. There he is. He caps off his amazing first two periods with this team as he gets a nice feed there from Mike Santorelli. And Jared Lievo gets the goal to put the Leafs up 3 to nothing in this game. It's I don't know why I keep saying Jared. It's Josh. Josh. There's a Jared Lievo, a Jared Lievo out there somewhere. I think it might be his brother or something like that. But Josh Lievo. Gets a nice feed from Santorelli around the back of the net. Left wide open and a nice low shot there. Scrivens might have got a piece of that, but still. Not enough of it to keep it out as the Leafs will take a 3 to nothing lead. Here in the third period with about 10 left to play. Josh Lieva from Mike Santorelli. 3 to nothing lead for the Leafs. And Bozak wins that faceoff. There's David Booth. He'll travel all the way back into the zone and feeds it up to Lupul. Joffrey Lupul, and he'll cut back into the middle. Uh, feeds it to Gardner. He tries to deep back towards the middle, but intercepted by Larson. And Fontaine feeds it over to Benoit Pouliot. Pouliot hit off the puck, and there's a big, big blocker save. Oh, Jesus, man. Scrambling puck. Pouliot takes control of it and uh, feeds it out in front. There goes the shutout. There goes the damn shutout. Scrambling play there in the own zone. For the Maple Leafs, Benoit Pouliot just feeds it out in front. Hate those plays, man, where they come back in front of the net. Ah, oh, man, they, nobody covered them. Thinks whoever number 51 is. 51 was caught in behind the net. Who's that? Gardner, yeah. If Gardner was out in front, he might have had a chance to do that. I kind of just froze there. I had no idea what to do there. I should have came out and faced him a little bit, but... Unfortunately, the Oilers will get a goal here. It's 3-1 to one now. Still got that two-goal lead intact with about eight minutes left to go. But, uh, you know, don't want to fumble here in the third period. Not like this. All right, Eberle sends a low shot on that, and that one's got to be a penalty. Thank you, referee, for God's sakes. You had three guys coming into me. You had the whole entire first line. You had the new you had Taylor Hall, and you had Jordan Eberle coming into me at once. The puck just trickles into the net. Look at this. Nuge, freaking Taylor Hall, and all of them go collapsing into the net there. Granted, that might have actually should have counted because I think Dion Phaneuf might have hit Taylor Hall into me. But regardless, ref's going to call goalie interference. Leafs will get a power play here, hoping to get that three-goal lead back. Scrivens will just dump that out to Schultz as he'll dump it out. As Cody Franzen has a little bit of trouble with that, but he manages to get it back. Jake Gardner up to Joffrey Lupul. And he'll take his time getting into the zone up. Deeks out and just sends the puck in. Jeff Petrie dumps around the back, kept in by Gardner, out in front to Santorelli, out front to Bozak, shot short side, blocked off by Scrivens, Lupo out in front, up Santorelli, Bozak has control of it again, back to the point to Gardner, takes the shot deflected in front by Santorelli, but that one's going to go back all the way sent down, Jake Gardner will take control of it, Gardner you got to get rid of that man, Roman Horak around the back of the net, oh man, feed by Everly, he shot that wide, Leafs, Having some trouble here getting the puck out of their zone. Eh, it's going to go out and then nonetheless. All right, Nikitin. Back to Marenson. He'll dump that one in. As, oh, Jesus, man. Jordan Eberle trying to squeak it in on me short side. Lupo luckily holds him against the boards. And that was a pathetic power play there from the Leafs. The second half of it, at least. But killed time nonetheless. Still got five minutes left to go here in the third. Santorelli takes a shot, deflecting it again. Marenson grabs it out of midair. Sends out in front, Santorelli back to Lupul. Delay penalty, I think that's a delay penalty. No, it did not. I'm a liar. As uh, the, here come the Oilers. Here's Pouliot again, trying to stretch out Di Pietro. But he does make the pad save on that. As the Leafs will come back, Jake Gardner. 
Uh, Toe Dragon sends around the boards. Kadri looking to get there. Larson does win the puck, though. Larson will get it back. Teddy Purcell with two minutes still left here in the third. Justin Fontaine. Out in front. Oh, Teddy Purcell sends it wide. Oh, what a play there from Jay Gardner. Jay Gardner, what a play. I think that was going to go bounce off the glass and back towards the net. But Jay Gardner just clears out with a stick. And Kadri with a nice shot there. Blocked off by Scrivens. Sends back into the zone. And here comes Pouliot now. Here's Teddy Purcell. Teddy Purcell making some deeks back to Larson. Empty net for the Oilers. Blocked off in front. And, oh, a kick save there on Fontaine. There's Hall. Looking for that again. Blocked off by DiPietro. Hall again. And sends it five hole on DiPietro. you got to be kidding me, man. You have got to be kidding me. This is not happening again. I swear to God. This is not happening again. This is not going to happen this way again. Jesus, man. Edmonton was threatening there with that empty net. And he just sends it around five hole. Fuck me, dude. 35 seconds still left here. The Scrivens is out, is back in the net. You guys got a chance here to score in the empty net. All right, the Nuge wins it. Here's Marinson over to Taylor Hall. Empty net's pulled. Here's the Nuge. Tries to make a deke. Low shot. Oh, my God. That rebound was right there for Jordan Eberle. Justin Schultz around the back of the net for Taylor Hall. Out in front. I'm done. I'm seriously so done. I am seriously so done with this game. Ice tilt is real. I'm sorry. Ice tilt is absolutely real with this game. I don't care what you guys say. Ice tilt might be real in Hut is absolutely real and be a pro. I am so done with this game. I am absolutely so done with it. That is unbelievable. That is absolutely unfucking believable. I cannot believe that just happened. I cannot utterly believe that just happened. We had a shutout. We had a shutout with 10 minutes left to go in the goddamn third period, and we give up three goals, two of which in 30 seconds. Like, probably even less time than that. There's Taylor Hall taking that almost went in. For God's sakes, man. That one almost dribbled right behind me and went in. I probably would have lost my shit. All right, Leo Komarov. He's got 10 seconds left here. He's going to get knocked off the puck. Tyler Biggs picks it up. Fourth line shift. We're going to overtime. I can't believe it, dude. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. 19 shots with the Oilers, 24 for the Leafs. That should have been an easy 3 to 1, 3 to 3, nothing win. 3 to 1, maybe 3 to 2 win for the Leafs. Absolutely unreal. Can't believe it. I don't believe it. Ice Tilt is real in this game. I'm sorry to tell you, but Ice Tilt is absolutely 100% real. It's real. In the same mode, it's real. It's just it's just so stupid how the computers can just score on will like that. It's it's honestly ridiculous. Kessel steals shots, glove saved by Scrivens. It is honestly ridiculous. They just need to change it. They need to change it the way the goaltenders play. The goaltenders just need to have a full overhaul in this game. They really do. Because it's right now it's just absolutely ridiculous. Alright. I gotta play to win now. I have to play to win. Hall out in front again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, freaking Morgan Riley taking it down like that. All right, well, we got the team a point at the very least. But Leafs here are just, I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's, I can't be blamed for that. I honestly can't be blamed for that. Shot by Kessel, he misses it. Kessel's still looking for the hat trick. Got a minute 40 still left to play here. Kessel tries to send the shot. Schultz gives it back up to the Nuge. Nuge has nothing to work here. Yeah, there's no pass there. No cross crease there. Kessel back to Kadri. Back to Kessel. Minute 30 still left. Kessel just dumps it off the boards. There's nothing to do there. Marinson, he's going to dump it around. Kessel looks to keep it in, but Perron, nice pass up to Yakupov. Back to Perron. Back to the point to Marinson. Takes a shot. Big blocker save there from DiPietro. And they miss the pass out in front to the slot. Marinson takes control of it again. He'll dump it in. Good enough. Grab that. Thank you. Get rid of it. Good. Bozak. Bozak's going to look to start up something here. Bozak. Nice deep. Drop pass to Franzen. Uh, JVR gets it back. JVR shields it. Thank you. Good job, Leafs. Nice play from JVR just to shield that in the zone. Finds Tyler Bozak wide open back door for a cross crease goal. That was a nice job from JVR and Cody Franzen. Finds Tyler Bozak backdoor in the Leafs. Do manage to overcome that collapse by DiPietro in the third period nonetheless.
We still managed to come out for the 4-3 to three win in overtime to win this game. But still, that should have not happened the way it did. Should have never, ever, ever happened that way. Absolutely should have not happened that way. But still, nice play there from JVR. Finds Bozak wide open. Toronto does get the win 4-3. to three, But yeah, that shouldn't have never happened that way. 16 of 19 for DPH after that game. But yeah, that, that, that should have never happened. Should have absolutely never, never happened. Like, I'm happy we won, but <sighs> that should have never absolutely happened. They get two goals within, like, 30 or, like, 15 or 10 seconds of each other within within pulling their empty net. <sighs> the first goal will pull you out. I'll take, I'll take bad credit for I should have came out there and faced them, but then again, there was nothing I could do. The Taylor Hall goal. He goes around the net, which I hate, and shorts it five hole coming around the back of the net. I hate those goals. And then the last one, I don't know. Once again, I had they were coming around the back of the net. I had to come out. I had to hold the post because I don't know what they're going to do there because I have an extra attacker. <sighs> Absolutely insane, dude. Ridiculous. This game. That's the one thing I wish they would change, man. I don't play goalie all that much in this game. But goalie mechanics just need to have a complete overhaul. They need to be fixed. They need to be fixed. Absolutely need to be fixed. The way the goalies play in this game is just absolutely ridiculous. Maybe they can start by changing, you know, the glove. Actually facing like a shot rather than just, you know, holding it holding it up or whatever. Alright, so we won that game against the Rangers, so we're on a two-game winning streak right here. So we did manage to get our record back up to like six, six, three, and one, which is good. Our save percentage. Took a big hit there, but you know what? Whatever. We're still trying to vow for a good record. Alright. As long as the Leafs keep winning some games here. Alright, so they got an overtime loss. <gasps> oh! oh my goodness! It's finally happened! I wasn't even paying, to the, paying attention to the schedule. Oh my goodness. It is finally happening, boys. After all... This after this huge long wait of playing with both the Calgary Flames and now playing with the Toronto Maple Leafs, the time has finally come for the for Rick DiPietro to go up against his former team, the New York Islanders. We're not in New York. We're at home. We're going to be in the ACC, but still. We're going up against the New York Islanders in our next game. This one, if you guys have been following the series for the longest time, this game is probably the one you've been waiting for this entire series. So this game is going to be absolutely insane as Rick DiPietro and the Toronto Maple Leafs are going up against a 25-18-6, which is a pretty respectable record. A pretty respectable record for the New York Islanders. That game, the game everybody's been waiting for, is coming up next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always. Next time, we put it we're putting our big boy pants on. We're putting we're going captain serious against that game. We're playing the New York Islanders. That's coming up next.